Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel, this is Sal speaking and today I came back with a cooking video again. Okay. This pasta is called pasta and swordfish with a pesto, with a minced pesto. So this is very good, this is a Sicilian recipe and you're gonna love it. So stay tuned. one of these eggplants called I mean aubergines or eggplants they're like called the Tunisian ones you know they've got like a purple color and then you need to slice it this way you need to cut it this way A little bit of sea salt but the the thick one you know is using a specific type a very thick one see this is very big it looks like snow so you need to put a plate on top or you need to cover it and you need to let it stay for one hour let it rest for then we will show you what to do Okay, this one is this one is parsley okay this one is parsley and it was like sliced into little pieces it's gonna be an important ingredient although we're gonna add some mint too so we're gonna add some mint to this pasta as well we bought two slices of swordfish swordfish is a very common fish in Sicily so I think you may find it in the States too. Probably you're gonna have to buy some frozen swordfish. Awesome. So you need to remove this part, which we don't eat, of course. And then we're gonna have to slice this fish into slices <laughs> into little pieces actually so so you can make this into little cubes So now we're gonna use some mint finally and we're gonna take off the good we're gonna pick the good leaves and we're gonna make a little pesto of mint he basically removed the bad part the one that we don't need and now he's gonna select the right leaves It's a very meticulous work. You know, you have to select the right things. 
So we have parsley and mint. So we're gonna use some almonds and it's gonna smash it with this tool. I don't know how you call it in English. By the way, these almonds are so good. These ones are actually American almonds, believe it or not. But we're gonna see. So we put some mint, we're gonna add some pepper, a little bit of salt, a few pinches of salt, a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin Italian olive oil. This one comes from Palermo, it's very good. And then you need to be aggressive on this one. Wow, it looks good. So as you add more mint, add a little bit more olive oil. We added a little bit more olive oil. So basically it's gonna wash the eggplant. Because they were all covered in salt. We're adding some peanut oil. Apparently this is very ideal for frying stuff, according to my friend, so yeah, this is like uh, peanut seeds, so it's like uh, peanut seeds oil, never heard of it before, but now, yes. Remember to put on, remember to uh, put some water in your pan and to bring the water to boil as you work, this will save you a lot of time. Warming up the olive oil here. I mean, I keep on calling it olive oil, but it's the uh, peanut seeds oil is warming up, so just getting the ingredients ready to go. Make sure you wash your cherry tomatoes. And then you need to slice it. Very good stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna add a little bit, we added a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil in a frying pan, and we're gonna put some garlic on it. So it's gonna cut the garlic. Very hard to break this one, but okay.
Jag tycker man är ordet dåligt av att kasta. This garlic is is immortal. Doesn't want to die. You need to have a lot of patience with garlic. Garlic is not patient at all. So you need to be patient with garlic. Okay, you need to cut it in half. A meta. This is ketchup on potting on. In camisha. Okay. We call this in camisha on the shirt. I don't know why. But apparently, when you do this, you lose the the bitter part of the garlic. We added the garlic on the olive oil in the frying pan. He checked on the other oil's temperature, and it seems to be almost ready as well. So this frying pan here is not. I mean, the the um, the fire is off at the moment. We're gonna uh, turn the fire on when we are ready with the pasta. So. It's all it's a process where you need to where timing is very important in this process. So in the meanwhile we, we have a snack or something. But yes. So we already put the pasta in. Just a little few pieces of pasta. The pasta is going to uh, boil. We use this pasta called casarecce. It means uh, homemade pasta. It's not homemade, but uh, it is still good. It's Barilla brand. You can find this in America, although the Barilla brand in America is a different brand. So it's just testing the, uh, the fire here, and it's gonna put the aubergines here on the eggplants. So it's gonna be a little bit interesting now. temperature seems to be quite high and so I think this uh, aubergines, these eggplants are gonna be ready in no time and then you need to make sure that you dry them when, once you uh, once they are ready you know we switched the fire on this one as well so this one is gonna start cooking as well we have see we are we are doing three things we have the pasta boiling here, we have the aubergines over there cooking and we, are, we have this other frying pan ready to go with other stuff. So we are killing three birds with one stone here, not two birds, but even three. So the, uh, the garlic is getting a little bit more colored you can say this is a little bit more cooked so once it's cooked we're gonna add the uh, tomato we're gonna add the cherry tomatoes So we're gonna add some white wine. We add just a little bit, just a few sips of white wine. It really gives savor. It gives a, a good taste to the food. The alcohol is gonna evaporate and the, the, the good taste is gonna remain there. So it's gonna be fantastic. This like sounds amazing to me. See, from another perspective, we have the three things cooking together. The pasta, the, the uh, tomato, and over there we have the aubergines, the eggplants are almost ready to go. They really 
interesting technique, but he made it actually. Very skilled, he knows how to get the garlic out. I must say that um, the type of aubergines that my friend is using are better than any other types. They are the best ones in the world. Very tasty, very unique. Look at the uh, aubergines here. Look at the color of these fantastic eggplants. They're like almost ready there. See, the very fact that he added a little bit of water, or warm water, in the olive oil and the um, tomato, it kind of made a juice. And he's gonna shortly add the uh, swordfish. So, gonna make this amazing meal, fantastic meal. More water. Yeah, more water to go, and then, here's the swordfish. Here it comes, the amazing swordfish, Sicilian style, Sicilian swordfish. Mm. Now we're gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Okay, you see the pepper now is gonna mix it. It's gonna let it cook, you know. Fantastic. Wow, this is just paradise. So it's taking the aubergines out. See how beautiful they are. They're so color colorful. Look at this, this is fantastic. This is a masterpiece. The fish is keeping on cooking. The pasta is cooking too, and it's gonna add some aubergines. Fantastic work. Make sure you mix the pasta as well as you cook. There's so many things to do, you need to check on the pasta, check on the fish, check on the aubergines, cooking, there's a lot of stuff to do. You need to be a little bit multitasking as a person, you know? So, yeah. As you cook the fish, feel free to add as much as warm water as you like because you know it can dry up. The little sauce that you create by adding the water is gonna dissolve, it's gonna evaporate. So make sure that you add a little bit of more water to keep the sauce going, you know. To keep the sauce alive, if you can say this. We added a little bit of parsley just to make it look a little bit more nice, you know, nicer, nicer. The pasta is ready, you know, we just uh, dry the pasta, so we put it back on the pan. Okay. Minka is a typical Sicilian word. You will hear it a lot if you come to Sicily. We're gonna add the, uh, the fish to the pasta. We're gonna mix it together. Look at this fantastic recipe here. Looks just...
I'm gonna add the uh, aubergines on top. And the almonds as well. I'm gonna add some mint. Pimenta pure. We're gonna add the the pesto, the mint pesto. Okay. Awesome. Fantastic. We're ready to go. Pronto, giusto? Fantastic. The pasta is ready. Let me try it. So good. Thank you so much for watching and remember, if you feel sad, you better call sad. Bye bye.